All here, head coach Dave Van Horn, accompanied by players Matt Goodhart and Connor Nolan. We'll end up it up with a statement from the head coach, and then we'll have questions for the players and back to the head coach. I thought both starting pitchers did a good job. They, you know, both of them had to work out of a couple of jams uh, for the most part through a lot of strikes. Um, kind of left some runners out there again today. Obviously, it came back to get us, but, uh, you know, we kind of created our own jam there. You know, in the eighth, uh, leadoff walk and then a hit by pitch, I think. And, you know, didn't uh, – that's not the way we wanted to go there. But uh, they got a couple of big hits, or they got one big hit anyway. And uh, it was a good ball game. You know, I knew it was going to be close. I think, you know, we were, we were kind of to the point where uh, we were going to bring in some – a couple of freshmen uh, if it didn't go real well or if, Mac, if Cronin could have just got us through the eighth. I don't know if we'd have brought him back for the ninth. But – uh, time to get uh, time to get ready for that regional. Questions for the players now. Um, this is for Matt. What, what was the ball you hit for the home run? And um, you guys have had five hits now in four straight games. Obviously, you were putting up crazy numbers for most of the season. Um, how concerned are you guys about uh, the, the recent struggles at the plate? Uh, the pitch I hit was a two-strike fastball, and really I was just in defense defense mode, trying to foul off the close pitches, and got enough of that one. And, and honestly, I'm not too concerned about our offensive struggles here recently. I know what this team's capable of doing, and I, I'm hope I hope they know too, because I mean we can really swing the bats whenever things are really clicking. Um, Connor, how would you feel about your outing? I know all you guys were on pitch counts. How would you feel about the plan the coaches had to, you know, make, keep you guys sharp and make, make sure you're obviously ready for next weekend? Definitely. We had a good plan going in, just, uh, you know, keeping us on the pitch count. Obviously, we want to rest up and get ready for that regional. That's our main focus. But I thought it went well today and attacked the zone and came after them. For both guys, just now getting a chance to go back home after being on the road for over 10 days. Honestly, just looking forward to the regional, looking forward to playing more in the postseason, playing more ball, and uh, work hard next week to prepare for what's coming. No doubt. It'll be good to get back and, you know, just be at home and uh, just get ready for the regional. For both guys, I, I know this obviously you didn't want to go one, one and two here, but um, just kind of flush it because obviously next weekend's win, win, win is what really counts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, of course, you never want to lose a game. <laughs> you never want to lose anywhere. But uh, we're, really, we're really focused on the regional. We're, lo we're looking forward to, to continuing on with the season and getting back after it, go as far as we can. I mean, yeah, well, just what he said. I mean, we're just ready to get back home and, you know, put in some more work. We've got a full week ahead of us where we can, you know, get better as a team and, uh, you know, work out, obviously. So uh, it's a good opportunity for us. Connor, you've pitched well your last five or six starts. What's gone into kind of the transition from, you know, when you got done with football to now and how much better has your arm gotten since then? Uh, I just think my work's been better. My bullpens have been more, um, I mean, just – better work. I'm mean, throwing harder in my bullpens and uh, just working on stuff that I'm going to translate into a game. And that's really been reflective of my outings. And uh, it's helped a lot with, uh, you know, just get, making better stuff available for me during the game. Any more questions for the players? Thank you, guys. You guys can step down. Thank you. Start right here on the right, Coach. D Dave, I guess on Wednesday, you know, two guys, guys they, have, they, have, they have the winning runs on. You bring in Matty, shuts them down. Um, you know, today, Dillard got the big hit. Kind of what what did you see and today that, that made things different? Um, just that, you know, he made a, he made a, actually made a good pitch. And they, uh, I call it cheating to the fastball pretty good. And, you know, pitch was down knee high. And he likes him down there. 
uh, especially from the right side, we feel like just he did a good job, just a good piece of hitting. Dave, this this whole week it's been one to nothing, two to one, three to two, just about every game. What do you attribute that to, and why have runs been so difficult? Well, I think the pitching is really good in the league. I, I've said this all year that this is the deepest I've ever seen the pitching in this league. And there's a lot of guys that throw really hard, but there's also some guys that can just pitch. And uh, veteran guys, young guys, I mean, freshmen uh, pitching on the weekend. I mean, we've got two pitching. We, you know, Ole Miss has a real good lefty. I mean, I could go on and on. And um, it just seems like that uh, now that we're all here together, you know, maybe it's, you know, it's, it's right after the final – 30th game of the of the season, teams are just a little bit tired, maybe swinging the bats, and the pitchers are, you know, on their game a little bit, and uh, the pitchers have dominated here. I mean, you see what A&M's done here. I mean, they haven't hardly given up a hit, and they lost two ball games, and um, but just really, really deep pitching, and uh, I think it's just, uh, you know, a credit to the a lot of the coaches and these kids that are they got them ready to pitch right away. Uh, they're, they're they've done it as freshmen. I know we've asked you a lot over the last couple of days about the lack of two two out hitting, lack of hitting with runners on. Is there a concern for you? And then, how much is it just getting home now and kind of refreshing before regionals play? Well, uh, I mean, yeah, you guys have asked me this every day now. Yes, there is a concern because if we don't hit and score, we're not going to win. So that's pretty obvious. But we're going to get home and we're going to go back to work and we'll start driving in runs. Dave, you had three straight hits there in the fourth. Did you feel like, hey, we're bu we're yeah. going to bust out of it? And yeah, that was great. That kind of that's kind of the way we do it a little bit. We can steamroll you pretty quick. And you know, unfortunately, uh, Kenley's line drive went right to the first baseman. If it's ten foot another direction, and that's the way the game works. But it was good to see us get three hits in a row, square up another ball, and uh, you know, we 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 got it going there a little bit. But um, you know, it, it's really more about – sometimes it's about that two out here. We had the bases loaded in two outs, 1-0 count. Fletcher goes for a pitch, it's down and away instead of waiting for a better pitch. Those are the things we got to clean up, you know. Uh, even if it's a strike, just take it. If it's one and one, not a problem. And I think that's guys trying a little bit too hard, trying to do too much, get the big hit. And uh, it'll be good for us to get back, relax a little bit. Uh, we've been on the road, like you said, for 10 days. And um, – figure out who we're going to play and then go from there. And you guys had that run of games, you know, several games. You were scoring in the teens and just killing really good pitching. Is this maybe the last few days, this is the baseball gods, you know, evening things up a little bit or just? No, kind of like I just said, I think we're a little tired and we just need to get back home and, and regroup a little bit and start scoring some runs. I mean, it's like if you look at it, we had some guys that didn't hit at all and we, we lost a two-run game and a one-run game. Um, and we didn't do anything. So our pitching did a pretty good job for the most part. Defense was pretty good. Uh, we'll be fine. Coach, just your thoughts on the combination of pitches from Connor Nolan. I know entering this game, I think in the last six starts, his ERA is like 1.53, something like that. Just your thoughts on the way you can kind of start that breaker out of the zone and then it drops in there and then just what he's doing with his fastball right just now. Just a really good mix, you know, really good mix. And, uh, you know, mixed in a few change-ups as well. Uh, two different breaking balls. Fastball with some sink, um, you know, got some ground balls. When he works ahead in the count, he's really, he's really tough to figure out if you're a hitter. So um, I feel like he just continues to get better and better. And uh, he's all obviously pitched pretty good today. He pitched really well for four plus innings at A&M, his last outing, and his two previous outings at, in, in Fayetteville because we had back-to-back -back series at home. He threw great. So uh, we, we pitched pretty good at, good at our own ballpark. Dave, is there any doubt in your mind you're not just a, a regional host, but you'd host a super regional if you advance? I mean, you're a top eight seed. Is there any doubt in your mind? Well, you know, I feel like we're, we're probably going to be a top eight seed, but that's not my decision. Um, I, I know we're going to host a regional. Uh, I hope that, uh, you know, what we did throughout the season, um, you know, really is what matters, I think. Uh, RPI is still going to stay the same. Strength of schedule is going to get stay the same or get better. Other teams that are right around us, they're getting beaten in their tournaments as well. And, uh, 
you know, when you win 20 games, 21 games in the SEC, you got a pretty good shot to be a, a top eight seed. And I know you said the other day you wanted to try to keep guys fresh, especially Opitz, and you used a lineup. You used a lot of non-conference games. Some of those guys made a lot of good plays in the field. How'd you feel about you know the lineup you started in an SEC game? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that. Uh, you know, I rested three guys a day. A couple of them came in. Um, Opitz didn't have to catch today. I thought Plunkett did a nice job. Um, you know, even I felt like Washington. He he just missed a couple of pitches. Um, I thought they all, they all held their own. McFarland, like you said, made a good defensive play, uh, lined out to right once, hit a decent ball to right. Um, they're guys that if we get into a situation where we have an injury or matchup, I have no problem putting them in the game, uh, in a regional game. Dave, as, as Bob said, and we all saw a couple days ago, Cronin comes in, faces four guys, strikes them all out. How rare is it for, for him to get, give up two hard hit balls as he did to both Dillard and Kessinger with the sacrifice fly back to back like that? Well, you know, if you look at his numbers, he's given up a few home runs this year because they cheat to his fastball. And, uh, you know, a lot of times it's, uh, you, know, it, it, you know, he's better off throwing the ball up in the zone instead of knee high. And uh, both those pitches that were hit hard were, were down in the zone a little bit. They were good pitches, but. Um, yeah, it's just, just the way it is, you know. They, they got good hitters. And those guys are veterans. I mean, those, those are their dudes. They hit one and two in the order, and uh, one's a switch hitter, and, you know, one's probably going to play in the big league. So maybe both of them. So we'll, you know, it, it's just it's baseball. And, and uh, it's good competition, and, and uh, they learned a little bit about how to maybe to hit him last time they faced him. It's only been 48 hours. So, you know, hats off to them for, for getting the job done. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All Appreciate right. it. Thank you, guys.